We're joined on the dais by head coach, uh, Tulsa head coach Matilda Mossman and student athlete Erica Wakefield. Coach, if you want to make an opening statement, and then we'll take questions. Okay. Um, really, really just proud of our team and the way we finished the season. Not really looking at today as much, but, um, you know, we were on a six game losing streak and we've got a, not just a young team, but an inexperienced team. You know, we lost our leading scorers from last year. So the, the season itself has been kind of a roller coaster. And, um, but our kids never quit fighting. They, they kept coming back. And we had that six game losing streak, which started at UConn in February and at Temple and then uh, the next three. But then we, we go on the road and, and win at Cincinnati, uh, had a double-digit lead. They came back. We held them off. And, and that's, that's a sign of progress because we had had a lot of double-digit leads early in the year that we ended up losing in the fourth quarter. And then same thing happens against Memphis yesterday. We, we get a double-digit lead. They come back and tie the game with 4.50 to go. And we're able to come back and hit a three, hit a corner jumper, and hit another two. And now it's a seven-point game game and, and we, we win going away. So that, that's how the, this young, inexperienced team finished the year. And the reward was you got to go play the number one team in the country. So um, I, I felt like our effort was good. Um, UConn is so, so efficient and they play with such urgency. Uh, I thought they really separated themselves in the second quarter uh, where they just got on a run and got some things in. They forced us into a lot of turnovers, went to the free throw line. And, you know, they're almost perfect all day. They go 20 for 20 from the free throw line. They shoot 62% from the floor. Uh, they shoot 42% from three. I mean, they shoot better from three than we did uh, for the for, from the floor overall. So just, you know, just had to go up against a team that's, that has a lot of skilled players and they play with great urgency and you know they're trying to win a national championship we were just trying to win a game they're trying to win a national championship so um for for, for that I, i'm i'm proud of the the way our team finished the year and i uh, think we have a lot to look forward to uh going forward <coughs> Erica, can you talk a little bit about that, having one more year left, and what that, what, what this, how this team is set up for next year? Did you think you took some steps forward in, here in the tournament? I definitely think we took steps forward, not just in the tournament, but all year long. You know, the good thing about freshmen, and Coach always says this, is that they become sophomores. And so I do think next year, you know, our freshmen played a lot of minutes this year, but next year they'll play more effective minutes. And so I think uh, in the future, I think we'll be really, really good. Uh, for Coach, and I apologize if you've been asked this, but do you, did you see things from this game that you know you can build on you know, and, and build upon and improve the future? Absolutely. And, um, you know, it starts with, with Erica. You know, she's our leading scorer today at, at her point spot. She only had three turnovers in the game against a lot of pressure. Um, Erica's been a great leader for our team. And, um, you know, it's been tough for her this year, having so many young and experienced people around her. But she's been a great mentor. She's been a great leader. Uh, she's put the team on her back numerous times. And I think it's going to be a big relief for her next year when those freshmen do become sophomores. Eric, can you just talk about the team after this game? Are you guys feeling down because of the loss? Or are you feeling you came into this on this losing streak, you ended up in this tournament winning a game and, 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 and getting to that quarterfinal round. Is it, is it an upbeat kind of attitude going after this tournament, or are you guys feeling down at this point? It's definitely an upbeat. Um, getting to play the number one team uh, to end your season, I mean, there's good and bad. I mean, yeah, you're ending your season, but you got to play the number one team in the country. So I think it was a great opportunity for us. And I mean, coming in, you know, we wanted to win. Of course, everyone wants to win, but we definitely wanted to just give them a game. And I think we did that in the first quarter. We played them really um, hard. And like Coach said, they just separated themselves in the second. And from there, I mean, I mean, we lost. But I think it's definitely an, an up. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.